continue our election coverage this afternoon. Today, Spencer Joseph takes a look at Proposition 5, which deals with tax breaks for people who want to sell their home. Proposition 5 revolves around what you do when you sell your home. California law benefits people who stay in their homes for a long time because your property taxes, by law, can only increase 2% every year regardless of your home's value. So if your home's value doubles or even triples, your property taxes remain low. And if you are over 55 or a disaster destroys your home, you can get a one-time tax break that allows you to transfer your low property tax rate to your new home. To qualify for that tax break, your new home can't be worth more than your existing one. You can only move one time, and you must stay within the same county your home was sold in. Proposition 5 eliminates all three of those restrictions. Most Californians are focused on Proposition 5 because it would help people who are over 55 years old get this tax break. But it would also help homes like the one behind me that were destroyed in disasters like the car fire. People who qualify for these tax breaks would be able to move into any home, anywhere in the state and also move as many times as they wanted to and keep that low property tax rate. Your vote on Proposition 5 comes down to this. A yes vote on Proposition 5 means those over the age of 55 as well as those whose homes were destroyed in disasters would be able to get property tax breaks. A no vote means the law stays the same. If you want to learn more about all of these propositions, you can head over to our website, actionnewsnow.com, under the election tab. We've broken down all of them there for you. And coming up at 5 o'clock, we'll break down Proposition 12 regarding the treatment of farm animals. For Action News Now, I'm Spencer Joseph. A Halloween